let's look at the solution of prime puzzles episode 23 the scatter diagram below shows the production and sales of two products p1 and p2 for four companies wxyz across two cities rajgarh and kanpur each company sells every unit of p1 and p2 that it manufactures the large squares and triangles represent the production of p1 in rajgarh and kanpur respectively and the small triangles and squares represent the production of P2 in Rajgarh and Kanpur respectively. In each of the cities, a unit of P1 is sold for rupees 400, while a unit of P2 is sold for rupees 300. Assume each product is sold. This is a fairly straightforward set, but to, and both these sets, both these sets for this episode are fairly straightforward with the intention that you should not run away from graphical sets. Even if it is a simple set people have a tendency as soon as they say something di related they tend to walk away from it not ideal especially not something as inane as this let's go ahead and record the data points for comprehensive this i will go ahead and write down everything this is rajgarh this is kanpur we have w x y and z the other thing that people tend to do is when this is so simple, then don't make unnecessary errors either. Rajgarh, Kanpur, W, X, Y, and Z. Okay, Rajgarh, what was P1? Squares and triangles. Square for Rajgarh, triangle for Kanpur. Square for Rajgarh, triangle for Kanpur. Large ones. So 30 and 30. For uh, X, it would be 60 and 70. For Y, it would be 35 and 25. And finally, for Z, it would be 80 and 10. Okay. Now, the smaller square and triangle, I'm hoping. Small triangles and squares. Ooh, just pay attention. The large squares and triangles represent the production of P1 in Rajgarh and Kanpur respectively. And the small triangles and squares. Triangles and squares. The order has changed. Previously, it was square triangle. Now, it is triangle and square. So, small triangle is for Rajgarh. It would be 20 and 10. 60 and okay, this is a square no? so 20 60 and 20 then triangle 40 square 70 and finally what do we have 50 and 30 I hope everybody paid attention to this minute little detail small triangles and squares represent the production of P2 in Rajgarh and Kanpur respectively. Okay. We have all this information. We know P1 sells for 400, P2 sells for 300. In Rajgarh, which company has the least sales by value from sale of P1? P1, Rajgarh, which company has the least sales by value? Can you see this question is as good as, uh, as, good as asking which company has the lowest volume sales? Has to be W. So answer is option A. Okay. Next is which company has the maximum revenue from the sale of products P1 and P2 in both the cities, Rajgarh and Kanpur. Okay. So the combined sales here is 60. The combined sales here is 130. The combined sales here is 60. And the combined sales here is 90. The combined sales here is 30. The combined sales here is 80. The combined sales here is 110 and the combined sales here is uh, 80. Okay. It is very likely X would win. It is very likely X would win because 130 into 400. See, the zeros are going to be common. No? So it is 13 into 4 for X and 8 into 3. So I have 52 plus 24, 
76 as revenue generated here, followed by three zeros. For W, it would be six into four and three into three plus three into three. So this turns out to be 33. For Y, it would be six into four plus 11 into three. So this is 33 plus 24, so 57. And for C, it would be nine into four plus eight into three. So 36 plus 24, 60. Okay, as initial suspicions arose, it has to be option B. Next question. The company the maximum total revenue from sale of P1 and P2 in both cities had manufactured how many more total units of P1 and P2 than the company with the minimum revenue. Okay. The maximum revenue was for X. The minimum revenue was for W. So the company the maximum total revenue from sale of P1 and P2 in both the cities had manufactured how many more total units of P1 and P2? 130 and 80, they, the max company had 210 units. Company with the minimum revenue is 60 and 30. So 210 minus 90. The answer to the third question would be 120. Next question. If companies W and Z merge together to form another company A, and companies X and Y merge together to form company B, which of the following statements is R2? Okay. So I'm saying A and B for P1, Rajgarh Kanpur, company A and B, Rajgarh Kanpur, P2. What was A? W and Z. W and Z. So 110 and 40. 110 and 40. The other two would be 95 and 95. Okay. Okay. Now for this 70 and 40. And 190. Okay. 190. We've got this. We know the rates here. 400 and 300. Okay. The total number of units of P1 and P2 manufactured by company B. Total number of units of P1 and P2. We have 150 as total here and 190 as total here and 190 as total here and 110 as total here. Okay. The total number of units of P1 and P2 manufactured by company B is 380. Is 40 more than that manufactured by company A? Company A is manufacturing 260. This is P1 and P2. So no, this is not true. This is not valid. Let us look at statement two. Company B's total revenue from sale of P1 exceeds that of company A by more than 25%. Okay. Can I say 25% of 150? Basically, revenue for A would be 150 into 400. Revenue for B would be 190 into 400. Given we are only concerned with percentage based comparison, I can happily remove this and see the gain is of 40. I have to see 40 by 150. If this is greater than 25%. Yes, indeed it is because 25% of 150 is 37.5 only. So statement two is definitely valid. Statement two is definitely valid. Next. Company A's total revenue from sale of P1 and P2 is less than that of company B's by approximately 40%. Let's see. Now, previously in statement two, we are comparing it with a base of company A. What, what, whatever was the revenue or the number of units sold by company A. For statement three, we are comparing it to company B's base. So A's total revenue from sale of P1 and P2 is less than that of company B by how much? 40. Sorry, P1 and P2. P1 and P2. It is less by 120 divided by 380. 
now we have to check if this is greater than 40% or not if this is greater than 40% or not or is this roughly equal to 40% if this is roughly equal to 40% if i cancel this cancel this can you see this is def this value here is lower than 1 by 3 or 33.33% if it is lower than 1 by 3 or less than 33.33% can i say this statement company a is total revenue okay i have made a mistake i have made a terrible terrible mistake now when we are talking of p1 and p2 together i cannot be doing just the fractional comparison i have to do it this way so company a's revenue from the first one 15 into 4 is 60 and 11 into 3 is 33 this is a's total revenue and b's total revenue is 19 into 4 is 76 19 into 3 is 57 okay so now we have to see this is 93 this is how much 24 133 okay so a is lower a's revenue total revenue is lower than b's revenue by 40 40 by 133 it says approximately 40% can you see this has to be less than 40 by 100 this has to be less than 40 by 100 so this statement is definitely false and the answer to the question will only be option a two only next question Two engineering colleges A and B have a record of hundred percent placements of students across all streams. The following table gives data of placement statistics of these two colleges. That is, it uh, for example, eighty students of mechanical engineering from College A were placed with starting salaries of rupees four lakhs. Okay. So what they're saying is, this number eighty here represents mechanical students. salary of 4 lakhs okay let x denote the proportion of students from college a who are placed with starting salaries of rupees 6 lakhs and y denote the proportion of students from college b who are placed with starting salaries of rupees 6 lakhs by how much does y exceed x okay basically as soon as you see such tables know the first instinct has to be let us add up all the rows and columns because that is where it would go <laughs> so 33 plus 7 is 40 40 plus 80 is 120 120 plus this is 180 okay 30 plus 20 is 50 50 plus 70 is 120 65 plus 35 is 100 100 so 180 again 180 in computer science 45 55 is uh the forty five fifty five is hundred thirty two thirteen is forty five forty five thirty five is again one eighty okay so almost one eighty sixty less than that so total number of students should be eight forty additionally let me add up every column also seven and twelve nineteen nineteen and ten twenty nine twenty nine and five thirty four thirty four plus thirteen forty seven thirty thirty five sixty thirty five thirty five thirty hundred Hundred one hundred and forty-four. Okay. Here we get thirty-six, thirty, thirty. So ninety-six, ninety-six plus forty-five. That's good as one forty-one. One forty-one plus thirty-two is one seventy-three. Okay. Fifty-five plus thirty-five is ninety. Ninety plus hundred is ninety plus hundred is one ninety. One ninety plus eighty is two seventy. And finally, we have forty-five plus sixty-five, one hundred ten. One hundred ten plus forty, one fifty. One fifty plus fifty-six, so two zero six. An internal check that you should most definitely engage in right now is add up these numbers. Also, they should add up to eight forty. These numbers are far more convenient. Two hundred six plus two hundred seventy gives me four seventy-six. Four seventy-six, four seventy-six plus twenty-four gone from here, so five hundred. Five hundred plus one twenty, six twenty, six twenty. Six twenty plus one seventy three plus forty seven will be two twenty. So six twenty plus two twenty eight forty. Yes, all numbers align. Everything is fine. Let us also do it here. Thirty five sixty five. I get hundred. 
for which stream in college is the percentage of students who are placed in the starting salary not below rupees 5 lakhs the highest not below 5 lakhs so this group this entire group 5 6 and 7 is being counted mechanical had let me see 180 people 180 people 120 people 180 people and 180 people but civil was not considered anyway okay so 40 45 sorry why am i doing mechanical first let me do computer science first 27 28 55 55 plus 15 is 70 so the first fraction is 70 by 180 for electrical it would be 42 plus 35 77 by 180 for mechanical it would be 80 by 180 40 35 5 and for electronics it would be 42 48 98 by 180 okay clearly out of these four electronics is the largest so it should be option d next question 4 on account of the boost to the infrastructure sector the companies who had offered starting salaries of rupees 5 lakhs and 6 lakhs have revised their starting salaries to rupees 6 lakhs and 7 lakhs for students in civil in both branches okay so these 20 people have gone here these 30 people have come here and these 20 people have gone here so we've got 32 here and these 20 people have gone here and these 25 people have gone here so we've got 35 people here okay which of the following statements is are true the average salary of students from civil in college a total number of students in civil was 120 so For thirty people, salary has increased by one, and for twenty people, salary has increased by one. So overall increase is fifty. This is for college A. The average salary of students from civil in college A has increased by more than forty thousand. An increase of fifty lakhs cumulatively. An increase of fifty lakhs cumulatively. This divided by one twenty students is what we are checking. cancel cancel can you see we are getting mo more than 40000 we are getting more than 40000 so this statement is definitely true this statement is definitely true how we are arriving at 50 is the people who were previously receiving 5 lakhs are now receiving 6 lakhs so these 30 people have increased their salary by 1 1 lakh similarly these 20 people have increased their salary by 1 1 lakh can you see the cumulative salary of all the civil students has increased by the cumulative salary of all the civil students has increased by 50 lakhs so this statement is definitely turning out to be true the increase in summation is of 50 lakhs and that increase has to be distributed among 120 students in total okay second statement the average salary of students from civil in college b has increased by less than 40000 Let's see, twenty lakh increase and twenty-five lakh increase. So for college B, the increase has been of forty-five lakhs, which has to be distributed among one twenty students. Again, can you see if you divide this, you will get thirty thousand something. So the statement that it is less than forty thousand, this is also true. So statement one and two are definitely true. At this time, I can only eliminate option C. I can only eliminate option C, but hopefully, as soon as we either eliminate option three or statement three or statement four, we can mark our answer. The percentage of students who have starting salaries more than six lakhs is greater for college A than college B. Okay. Right now, number of students, the percentage of students who have the starting salary more than rupees six lakhs, more than rupees six lakhs, twenty people came in. No. previously it was 47 now it will be 67 so for college a the number is 67 by 180 and for college b previously the number was 50 and 25 people have jumped in so it is 75 oh oh it is not 180 it is 67 by 840 and it is 75 by 840 the good thing is the totals don't change So the percentage of students who are starting salaries of more than rupees six lakh 
is greater for college A than college B? No, this is wrong. This is wrong. This is wrong. And as soon as this is wrong, can I go ahead and say this is gone? Now I'm left with option A and B only. Let's see. Op statement four. The percentage of students who have the starting salary of less than 7 lakhs is greater for college A than college B. See, less if this is smaller here, this was 75, this was 67. This portion here would be 840 minus 67. And this portion here would be 840 minus 75. So the percentage of students who have starting salaries of less than 7 lakhs is greater for college A than college B. This 840 minus 67 is of course greater than 840 minus 750. We don't really care for the denominator because it is same in both these cases. So statement 4 is indeed correct. The final answer should be option D. Fairly straightforward sets. Only what was required was paying attention to the statements. Hopefully you learned something about data capturing and then dealing with it. That will be all. Okay, bye.